आई एम डॉक्टर के डी मोदी आई एम एंडोक्राइनोलॉजिस्ट प्रैक्टिसिंग एट हैदराबाद एट केयर हॉस्पिटल एंड माई क्लिनिक एंड टूडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट अ केस हु इज हैविंग अनकंट्रोल्ड डायबिटीज एंड हार्ट प्रॉब्लम सो वट इज द बेस्ट मेडिसिन in for her that uh, we will discuss she is a professor 54 year lady miss kamal and uh, she has diabetes for 4 years and generally overall is age related and diabetes related she has generalized weakness she had acute coronary event one year back and she was thoroughly investigated and she underwent ptca with one stent she is a bit obese or uh, bmi is 29.7 weight is 71 and height is 5 feet 2 inches she has a marginally high blood pressure generally in type 2 diabetic patient we expect 130 by 80 her bp is 146 by 86 her a1c is 8.4 and her lipid profile is okay we can presume that she must be on statin her uh, medication history she is on atorvastatin 40 mg so with that her lipid profile is absolutely normal but she has a protein urea and in 2d echo it is dilated la and ra she is on metformin 1 g two times that is 2000 mg she is on glimepiride 4 mg once a day she is also taking anti hypertensive losartan 50 mg and as i said atorvastatin 40 mg she is on amlodipine chlorothalidone and metoprolol due to her coronary artery disease she is also taking anti platelet agent so overall we see that her uh, standard treatment for cad is there including anti platelet agent beta blocker anti hypertensive and but uh, her sugar is uh, like for sugar she is on 4 mg of glimepiride 2000 mg of metformin and still uh, sugars are not controlled her a1c is 8.4 and her blood pressure also is not controlled her urine albumin creatinine ratio is 300 mg and to mind well all the patient with protein urea their cad risk is very very high so we really need to do something for this what is the status of this patient is even she is not at target she is at very high risk she is obese and she really needs a best medicine that controls her uh, blood sugar that protects her heart and with glimepiride and metformin her sugar is not controlled in 2015 the era of evolving dimension of cardiovascular care in type 2 diabetes empareg outcome came and empareg outcome in contrast to canva study in contrast to declare timi trial only empareg trial it showed the reduction in cardiovascular mortality to the tune of 35 to 40% it also demonstrated all cause reduction in all cause mortality by 40 to 45% so this type of benefits were not seen with other agent for sugar i think uh, because associated coronary artery disease the best uh, medicine to add is empaglifosin but only empaglifosin may not serve the purpose and we really need to control her sugar we really need to protect her heart so best uh, medicine for her would be linagliptin and empaglifosin combination glixembi or uh, even glixembi is available with other brand name like uh, azadio also where two types of preparations are there 5 by 10 and uh, 25 by 5 mg where 5 mg linagliptin is constant and empagliflozin 
is dosage is ranging from 10 mg to 25 mg and we all know that uh, by increasing empagliflozin from 10 mg to 25 mg glycemic efficacy increases by 20% 80% job is done only with 10 mg of empagliflozin so that's why in practice many times we use empagliflozin 10 mg however 25 mg is also not bad idea so c can be added uh, medicine of uh, empagliflozin with linagliptin uh, those who have uh, protein urea they have a special benefit especially with empagliflozin and to some extent with linagliptin linagliptin is the only gliptin that showed a reduction in protein urea that carmine lina trial it showed that uh, linagliptin cv outcome is neutral and uh, some uh, protein urea reduction is there so if we combine this agent empagliflozin and uh, linagliptin we can have reduction in protein urea we can have reduction in uh, future cardiovascular mortality and we can have reduction in all cause mortality so i think that in this patient the best agent to add is combination of uh, linagliptin and empagliflozin either 5 by 10 or 5 by 25 and dpp4 inhibitor they have additional benefit of uh, acting on alpha cells as well as beta cells and beta cells effect is mediated by incretin effect that means when sugar is high then only they will act like insulin secretogogue when sugar is normal they will not act so per se hypoglycemic tendency would be minimum but especially in this case when uh, she is on 4 mg of uh, glimepiride the hypoglycemic tendency because of glimepiride may increase and we need to be careful we need to be vigilant a reduction in incidence of genital infection like yes that is also documented that when you combine both this agent gliptin as well as a uh, sglt2 inhibitor the overall incidence of genital mycotic infection comes down why they say that uh, that fungus also some uh, mechanism has been proposed that uh, genital mycotic infection caused by fungal infection that fungus also has a uh, dpp4 enzymes so when you give dpp4 inhibitor the proliferation of this fungal agent will uh, or fungal microbe will uh, come down so this side effect also will be less and genital mycotic infection is reported 8 to 9% in a various trial in contrast to 3 to 4% in placebo group but when you combine this agent this incidence will come down so in that way also this will be useful so in this case best agent i feel to add is uh, linagliptin and uh, uh, empagliflozin in combination of uh, 5 by 10 or 5 by 25 or it is said that uh, all type 2 diabetic patient are potential heart failure patient if you search for it then you will find some evidence of heart failure so in that way also empagliflozin will help in prevention of future heart failure so by adding uh, azadio 5 by 10 or 5 by 25 we can address all the issues including uncontrolled hyperglycemia including obesity including hypertension including history of previous mi and microalbuminuria and to add on it heart failure so this is the best agent to add in this patient so thank you very much